Today, I'm going through why if you're starting a business, whether it be Amazon FBA or any other kind of business, you are incredibly driven and destined to achieve massive amounts of success. If this is your first time seeing me, then hi, my name's Andrew and I'm currently starting an Amazon FBA business in the UK. I'm creating videos documenting my own FBA journey as well as advice on entrepreneurship and mindset. So if these are topics that interest you, then please be sure to subscribe. So how do I know just based off the fact that you're starting a business that you're likely incredibly driven? Well, first, it tells me you're not average. You know, you're not willing to just accept the script that society provides, you know, go to school, get a good education, get a job and retire and then live off your savings. You realize this script is not a great Great deal and you're also willing to do something about it because while a lot of people recognize the system is probably rigged against them and that there probably is a better way out there they still don't do anything about it because at the end of the day it's easy to keep doing what you've always done and avoid anything difficult also by starting a business there's a chance you could fail and your friends and family will know about it but while it's not certain that you will succeed if you start a business if you never try then you've already failed in my opinion that mindset of being willing to try something even though you may fail and you know for a fact that you'll be judged for it if you do is incredibly powerful so by starting a business you have to be resilient and optimistic because at the end of the day it's not like a job you don't go and work eight hours and get paid for eight hours there's a good chance you'll be working 10 12 14 hour days at first and you'll probably not get anything in return for this for quite a while but by staying optimistic you know it'll pay off in the long run in my case i first started on my amazon journey in late november and started having my first product produced in december since november i've invested hundreds of hours into product research learning the business model and doing a course yet as of right now i don't have anything to show for it and my first product won't arrive in amazon until mid-May. So that means it will have been between six and seven months before I see any results for the hundreds of hours I've put into this business. Yeah, I've never lost confidence and I've remained optimistic about my business this whole time. So as an entrepreneur, you can't get distracted by the noise, whether that be your family saying your business won't work or your friends complaining why you haven't spent time with them in months. Because at the end of the day, you have a vision for what you want your life to be. Also, by actually taking the leap and starting a business, this puts you in the minority of people who are actually willing to take action on what they say. Because most people will just talk about all the great ideas they've got and all the businesses they'll start, yet they'll never do anything. But by starting today, you're going to get so much further than the majority of people. So by having the mindset of being willing to take risks and learn by doing, I know for a fact you're much more likely to be successful in life. An analogy I like that shows the power of having this kind of mindset is the idea that if you imagine a map and say you would start in the UK and just head east, if you change the degree by which you are traveling by just a few degrees north or just a few degrees south, the difference in terms of where you will end up will be massive. You know, you'd either end up in Russia or you'd end up in Australia. And I think having a growth mindset and being willing to start a business will show similar massive differences over the course of your life. By being an entrepreneur, it also means you're likely quite generous because at the end of the day, you're going out into the world and finding the kind of problems people have and trying to solve them for them. So in that respect, you're going out your way to create value in people's lives. That's why I can't help but just think that the belief that the rich are greedy is just ridiculous because to become rich, you've got to have a massive effect on people's lives by creating massive value for them. Whereas to be poor, you don't have to create value for anyone. And in my opinion, that is much more selfish. Now, I'm by no means saying if you're struggling financially that you're selfish because if you're watching this video you're clearly interested in finding a way to get out of your situation also if you're currently working a nine to five like i am then please don't think this is a bad thing if your mindset is that your job is always going to be your only source of income so you may as well spend it all on expensive clothes and drinks then this mindset will always keep you poor whereas if you see your job as a way to make income to support your business then you're much more likely to be successful so you might be wondering why doesn't everyone start a business well the truth is while you might like to think of humans as these incredibly complex and intelligent creatures at the end of the day we are just hardwired to take the path of least resistance and that means we are basically programmed to be lazy so whenever i see or hear about someone starting a business i know for a fact they are incredibly driven because starting a business takes a massive amount of effort and you have to sustain this massive amount of effort over an extended period of time especially during the startup phase and this is where a lot of people will quit when they don't see any results but if you can push through this stage you'll begin to start seeing your first hints of success and at this point it just becomes like a snowball going down a hill getting bigger and bigger also i think a lot of people have the misconception that businesses like Amazon FBA are get rich quick schemes and that you are basically tricking customers into buying your rubbish that you've sourced from China. But this couldn't be further from the truth. Of the sellers I know, they take a lot of pride in their products. They also get a lot of fulfillment knowing their products create a lot of value in their customers' lives. So don't be put off by people that say businesses like Amazon FBA are just deceptive marketing schemes. Okay, if you're starting your own Amazon FBA business or any other business for that matter, please be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below telling me about it. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Amazon FBA, I'll link in the top right the full guide to Amazon FBA I recently did. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.